Okay, so we're back in straddle and we're gonna need two yoga blocks and something that's about the same height as a, as a block. So three things that are of similar height. This is too big. Okay, so you're gonna set them up. I think you can sort of guess what's gonna happen. Set them up so that they're sort of like um, sort of like three sun rays. So you're gonna start in a straddle. Yeah, this is what we want. We want the target side to start on the outside of all three objects. For a second, I got it backwards. So as you can guess, you're gonna make your way up and over all of these objects without leaning back. So you're gonna to have to kind of experiment with what the sweet spot is. Given we wanna work outside of the sweet spot, sweet spot, but we also don't want to get too far away from what um, is within your capabilities today. So I'm gonna start with my fingertips behind me, puffing the chest a tiny bit. I feel like this leg is a little bit too far. From here, you're gonna brace and irradiate the abs, then lift the leg up and over the first block. Then up, as high as you can. If you feel like you know you can get more height, go for it. Then put it down. Knee is straight. Brace. Lift. So that's one. So you're going to do seven total. Up and over. Up and over. And again, don't move the trunk. Only move the leg. The one furthest away from you is going to be the hardest one. You're gonna figure that out on your own anyway. Brace, lift. Nice and high, as high as you can get. Good. Don't take anything with you. Lift the leg or don't move anything. Brace and lift. I call these marathon lifts. They're not really called that, but they can be called anything you want them to be called. But they're very useful for working on hip flexion independent of your trunk. Keep going. That one I slammed down a little bit. Once you get back in, you're going to switch sides and set them up in the same way. That's that one. And we're going to move on to more stuff. Uh, the next one's going to be probably the toughest one. <laughs> 